Hey Saggies, welcome to the Gypsies Tower. We are doing your reading for November. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if the reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsies Tower. Links below in the description. Let's see what's coming up for my Saggies this month. What do they need to know? We have Heart Rules, Guided by Emotions, Love Wins in the End, You Rule Their Heart. This is driving me crazy. I'm a perfectionist. I can't help that. <laughs> we have got Player, Playing Games, Casanova, Multiple Lovers, and New Love, Renewal of Love, New Beginning, Death of the Old Ways. So maybe some of you used to be a player, okay, and you're letting it go. Your heart is ruling. It wants something more. If not, this could be someone you are dealing with because you definitely do rule someone's heart here and they want to end their old ways. Yeah, it says more than one option in love. Decision to be made very soon. All right, what is heart rules guided by emotions, love wins in the end? What is all of this for Sagittarius in November here? Some of you could play soccer or know someone who does. Look at this loyal passion for you and honesty. I love it. Distance, physical distance, emotional distance. Okay, whoever this Casanova is with multiple lovers. And then we have introverted holding back. Not saying much closed off. So focusing on self-worth in November here. Um, being honest with yourself. Someone being honest with you. But this person from the past may want to come forward. But they can't. Because someone else is in the way. And that's only for some of you. But I just feel like they know they effed up. And that's why there's this distance between you guys. And they do have this like reborn passion for you. And they want to say how they feel. And it may even be you who's holding back, too. So however it resonates, okay? But you definitely rule this person's heart, and they want a renewal of the connection. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Look at this. Temperance with the Queen of Swords. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I feel like this is about communication or you being honest with yourself, really going deep within and getting a different objective here and communicating that out loud. And All right. Sagittarius. Them and the energy coming towards them. First looking at you. You've got the Page of Cups. Sign of Pisces. With the hero font, this could be marriage, commitment, but someone is very sweet on you, you, them, and it's a deep spiritual connection, but it could also be someone who is a Taurus, okay? It's a very traditional relationship. What is coming towards Sagittarius in November? We got the Knight of Swords. And Justice, Libra's here. Why did I just hear, you could be getting news, someone's going to jail. I don't know, <laughs> I heard that. But, um... Someone wants to say something. They feel like this is the only way it would be fair. And it's probably about their feelings, most likely. Whoa. The tower. Okay. So something is happening that is pretty dramatic. What is it? The seven of cups. It's the breakdown of your, your thought patterns when it comes to your emotions and how you how you let your thoughts guide the way that you react to things, okay? Mm-hmm. What's the outcome? The Eight of Wands. So things picking up, progressing forward in a positive way. Um, travel for some of you, okay? Lots of travel for some of you. Love messages coming in. I'm also hearing... Um, what did I hear here? Something may happen that just confuses you. You know, it, it may just be like, what the hell? Like, where did this come from? And it could be something karmically here with justice here and your spirituality and all of that coming together here. Like, spirit wants something to be balanced for you so that you can receive whatever this Eight of Wands is coming into your life. So let's see what that is for you, Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's love with the Ace of Cups when I split the deck. There could be this immature energy that you're, you still have around you that it's time to release here. But someone kind of acts like a bully sometimes or they don't know how to direct what their, their actions and that's causing a lot of blocks. You or them. So what's the Page of Cups with the Hero font for Sagittarius? Listen to your guides because I feel like they're talking to you here. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Eight of Swords. 
it's almost like you know something is not balanced, okay? You feel like someone is being selfish. It could be a Pisces. You feel like this person, it's their way or the highway. That's all they think about. They're always they're always helpless or feeling stuck or they're in denial about not not giving in the not making it even, okay? <laughs> It's not even. The Queen of Pentacles is here. So yeah, strong Taurus is coming through here saying, let go of toxicity. Let go of any kind of vices that you know are holding you back in your life. Get grounded and you are. And some of you, this is about you going towards a commitment and letting go of the imbalances of the past where someone was just a page. What's the Knight of Swords with justice for Sagittarius and the energy coming towards them? The star, sign of Aquarius. Someone wants you to keep the hope here. The moon, sign of Cancer or Pisces coming in. And the seven of wands in the reverse. It's like, don't give up. Someone's saying, don't give up. Don't lose hope. And this could be the player here with the knight of wands at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And the chariot in the reverse, five of pentacles. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They don't want you to leave them behind. There's some kind of like narrative of that. But they see that you're healing and it's not a secret. They see the change in you and they see that you're not going to defend whatever this is and they want to talk about this or they feel like whatever they say is going to change the outcome. So what's this tower with the seven of cups? The five of cups in the reverse. Someone sees that you can change something, but then that's what's confusing you. It's like, what makes you think that you can change this? You could be thinking this way or this other person here because the tower is a divine intervention. It's everything kind of feeling like it's crashing down at one side. And with the five of cups in the reverse, it's saying, well, we can still fix this partnership, this relationship. We can have the two of us together. It could be an old third party here. But with the six of wands in the reverse, it's not, you know, it's very, it's failure. It's self-doubt too. So I feel like, um... This could be your own negative thinking that's blocking connections. And let's see what happens. What's the outcome? The Knight of Swords and the reverse. So it's about being impatient too and unpredictable. So whatever this message is, it could come out wrong. All right. And I feel like that's what creates the confusion. But either way, you are getting grounded here. It's just that I feel like there's some pain you could still be hanging on to. Yeah, with the King of Wands in the reverse. And it's time to get that spark pack again with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, something, maybe something you did in the past here with Temperance in the reverse and the Six of Cups in the reverse. And it's time to release that. Okay. What's the Eight of Wands? I heard it's time to grow up. So I don't know if you're telling someone that. What's the Eight of Wands for Sagittarius? The Devil in the reverse, Capricorn, the King of Cups, Scorpio, and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, some of you might feel like you've missed an opportunity here, but I feel like this is someone who feels like they missed an opportunity with you. And this would be a Capricorn. You may feel like this person was blocking something, but you've got this King of Cups that's saying, I love you, come towards me. What do you need? I feel like this person is trying to help you or stop you from losing this, um, this new ambition or, like I said, opportunity that's meant for you. All right? Yes. That could be the Tower, too. That could be a Scorpio. I just put that together. Okay. So what is hidden from Sagittarius in November? It says game on. Both playing games, player getting played, taste of their own medicine. And that was at the beginning of the reading. And then it says on pause, delays, hesitation, losing momentum. And the struggle, rough patch, frustrating situation, trying times. So this all happened to get away from this energy or get these people out of your energy. All right. That's what I'm being told. To release toxic people with the devil in the reverse. Because they were blocking some kind of opportunity for you. Maybe it was a Capricorn or a Cancer Pisces that was blocking something. And you're healing right now. Black sheep, rebel, going against expectations, defying the norms. Maybe you're the black sheep of the family. And then it says, turn, party animals, sex, drugs, and alcohol, indulging in surface um, pleasures. Yeah, so if there were vices, you're letting that go because you're seeing it was draining your pockets or you were missing opportunities. And then we've got dormant, doormat, sorry, naivety, taken advantage of, and formidable. Yeah, you're seeing that whatever this was or whoever this was, was blocking what was meant to be yours. And you're, you're going to like, I feel like you're flipping it on its head here with the hero font and the queen of pentacles. You're stepping into your spirituality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What else does Sag need to know about this? Ooh. 
Okay, these cards are sticking out. It says, you got away. You're the one that got away. I'll look for you in the next life. Regret. I regret walking away. I wish I knew then what I know now. And jealousy. I get jealous when I think of anyone else having you and stealing you away. Then we have the waiting game. I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you'll be waiting. <laughs> That's very selfish. We have stalking. I often check your social media to see what you're up to. So someone is nostalgic. They're still hanging on. And then with jealousy, we have arrogance. If I don't get what I want from you, I'll get it from someone else. And that's just unhealthy patterns, okay? Someone is on the rebound or this was a t something that was taught to you and you're breaking that cycle. What is the advice for Sagittarius in November? It says, trust your power. Your impact in the world is greater than you think. Whether you see it or not, your existence makes a positive difference. And then we have obsession. No amount of obsessing is going to make the situation better. Find a way to let go. So you're letting go and trusting your power in November. Okay? But someone could be obsessing over you. And it's just like you have the power to say no. You're walking away. You know this person is doing too much or they are too damn much. All right? I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.